Hello and welcome back to the pool. I'm the Gareth Major and this is a let's play in the Lurfant Tast. So a let's play is basically slightly different to a review where I basically just describe what I'm doing as I go along in the ship. One thing to uh, note is obviously they have added the shading behind the numbers as uh, sort of like the timer and the scores of each team so that's actually quite nice we can actually read those numbers when they're up against the white background. And then another one to note is that on this map of Tears of the Desert, they have removed the land that was appearing on the mini-map. So it's a game of domination on Tears of the Desert. Enemy team, Benson, Yudachi, Z23, Balfast, which to Odin, Odin, Bismarck, and Richard Liu. So both their cruisers are radar cruisers. With the Wichita having 9km range and the Belfast having 8.5km range. Uh, with a radar duration of 30 seconds. So I'm just moving into the alpha cap. Just going to stay on the edge and just going to make sure that I have an escape route ready. And then using my rudder to obviously slow down my ship a little bit. Odin is in torpedo range. So is the other Odin, but I don't think he's actually going to be torpedable. Oh no, he is actually turned in. Well, let's see if we can grab this and then motor out. We have a friendly Akasuki pushing in with us as well, which would help us get the capture done a lot quicker. Now we're picked up by the Wichita. So. I'm going to obviously hit the engine boost, which will get me up to about 50 something knots. I have got a torpedo hit on that, which. Akazuki's laying a smoke screen behind me, doing the wrong thing. You just need to run. Uh, the aim being to obviously just try and dodge the incoming fire, which on Tears of the Desert can be slightly difficult due to the very bright sky. But there we go, managed to break off. does mean capturing the objective is going to be quite difficult. We do have a lot of forces. Basically the their teams committed very heavily here and have all of each other covered. And obviously a broadside battleship is easier to torpedo. So a chance those two sets and when then we do the flint French flip where we uh, swing round um, to get our port torpedoes onto a target. Chuck them out as well. We know the Wichita has used his um, radar recently. Whether or not these Odins are actually using their sonar is yet to be told. However, we seem to be racking up the torpedo hits on the enemy, which is quite nice. Just going to get ourselves ready for the next um, torpedo batch. See if we can do launcher on that Odin. Might do another one. I want to do it back there. Gotta put one there. Let's see what happens. So this is the nice thing about the uh, the French destroyers, the, the, how hard their torpedoes hit can literally just obliterate a battleship. So what's that leave? That leaves a witch to hunt hunting our uh, Akasuki. Oh, I don't envy him. It does leave the Benson on his own, going toe to toe with our, one of our Odins.
So if we can push in and maybe get our reload booster activated on the enemy Benson. Which is just going to keep chasing the Akasuki. Benson's gone. This right, I think we're going to be saving our, in, uh, our main battery reload booster for um, opening fire on an enemy battleship and uh, whittling away for a fire. I think. Wish to finally found our Akasuki. However, he's taken himself so far out of the game that he's going to be a while before he comes back. Also, the enemy team have kind of got themselves cornered in this north northwest corner and what's the other one the Belfast so they got two cruisers left on one battleship that Benson smoke screen might be around for a while so I might see if I can capture this objective and then nip into his smoke screen then use my reload booster on Bismarck don't think <sighs> yeah no I can't torpedo through the smoke because of the island I'm just going to sit on the edge of the objective makes it quicker for me to jump into the uh, smoke screen to my front No, not yet. Just going to make sure I've got t both torpedo launchers ready for when the Bismarck wants to start coming around the corner. Oh, damn, he's launched a plane. We'll launch one launcher now. We'll start backing up. Make sure I get away from that plane as quickly as possible. Bismarck's actually so weak, I don't think my torpedoes are going to be much assistance there. It's pretty much down to these two cruisers and what they're going to do. Use that reload booster to really get the DPM down range on the Belfast. There we go. Yeah, uh, the idea there was to try and use the island to make sure that it was going to be difficult for the Witcher to, to actually get uh, direct shots on me. Might as well use those at the engine boost and keep the witch just spotted for all the rest of my team. Um, he's definitely used two radar, judging by the one at the start and how he managed to pick off the Akasuki at the start. Whether or not he's gone for a fully packed commander and has a third one or not is always another question, but I am actually within radar range, so there we go. There's the, uh, the other radar, but we should be difficult to hit due to our top speed. In fact this is where the acceleration mod might be quite useful because it means it's going to be quite difficult for him to actually track shots on us. Because we'll accelerate quite quickly. In fact we could be very cheeky and actually open fire I think. Just because we've got so much health and we're travelling so fast That's the uh, really interesting one of the Fantastic is just at the moment because not a lot of people have got used to targeting fast ships like her, um, people do seem to struggle trying to leave their target enough. Um, I'm sure obviously as time goes on uh, people will get better at targeting ships travelling at 50 knots plus and will probably start hammering them but at the moment there seems to be a nice little sweet spot where people just can't seem to cope uh, targeting uh, the destroyers travelling at 50 plus knots.
Well, that was nice. Uh, 73,000 damage, 2 kills, 4 flooding, 6 torpedo hits, only 10 hits on target from the uh, main guns. Um, really quite an odd game, playing her very much like a torpedo bow, which is the kind of playstyle I like in this. Um, obviously, the review card is top right now, but also the ship modules and the command build will be down in the description. Uh, looking at the team results, came top of the team. Quite happy with that. Um, quite an interesting odd game I guess you could say felt a bit quiet but also quite busy too at the same time uh, going to the economy uh, ship service cost was 164,000 obviously due to premium and a rare credit booster managed to make a profit 138,000 uh, otherwise I probably would have made a loss of about 20,000 credits oh well nice to get a, a victory in her for today um, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. If you have any of your own game captures, uh, feel free to send them in for Admiralty Reports or Sea Trials. Our email address is down in the description, along with the ship modules and the command build. And if you are already a subscriber, I'd like to say thank you for your support and contributions. Until next time, I'm the Gav Major, and back to the port.